Black holes do not die per se, but they are theoretically predicted eventually to slowly evaporate over extremely long time scales. Black holes grow by the accretion of matter nearby that is pulled in by their immense gravity. Hawking predicted that black holes could also radiate away energy and shrink very slowly. Quantum theory suggests that there exist virtual particles popping in and out of existence all the time. Hi everyone and welcome to A Bit Scientist, where we discuss anything science. In today's video, we will be discussing how black holes. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Astrophysicists have discovered the fastest known star, which is racing around the black hole at the center of the Milky Way. The star, designated S4716, completes an orbit around the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A asterisk, Scura asterisk, in just around four years. This means that the star is traveling at blisteringly fast speeds of around 18 million mph, 29 million cuff, or nearly 5,000 miles every second. During this rapid orbit of Sagittarius, a asterisk, which has an estimated diameter of 14.6 million miles, 23.5 million kilometers, S4716 comes as close as 9.2 billion miles, 15 billion chem, to the supermassive black hole. While this may seem incredibly distant, it is just 100 times the distance between Earth and the Sun, which is a relatively small distance in cosmic terms. For example, the Sun orbits Scura A asterisk at a distance of 26,000 light years, with each light year equivalent to 5.9 trillion miles, 9.5 trillion chem. Astronomers have discovered a star that orbits the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy every four years. That's the shortest orbit ever observed around a supermassive black hole. The newly discovered star, called S4716, is about four times more massive than our sun and twice as hot. It survives extraordinary conditions, orbiting this black hole at a distance as close as 100 astronomical units, less than three times the distance of Pluto from the sun. The discovery should help astrophysicists better understand conditions near this gravitational behemoth at the center of the Milky Way, and to better calculate its mass and radius. In 1971, the British astronomers Donald Lyndon Bell and Martin Rees first suggested that a supermassive black hole might sit at the center of the Milky Way. Its huge gravitational force heating gas and dust and marshalling stars nearby. The first observations of this bizarre object came three years later, Black hole discovery, called Sagittarius A asterisk, pronounced Sagittarius A star. Our Milky Way's supermassive black hole sits some 26,000 light years from Earth and turns out to be about 4 million times more massive than the Sun. In May 2022, the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration released the first image of Sagittarius A asterisk, incontrovertible evidence of its existence. It is no surprise that such a massive object attracts nearby stars. Indeed, astrophysicists have long observed stars orbiting with periods ranging from 10 years to 166 years. These are collectively known as S stars, and their orbits help to determine the mass of Sagittarius A asterisk as well as its size. For example, S2 has an orbital period of 16 years that it travels at speeds up to 17 million F. 28 million chem slash 8, almost 3% of the speed of light. Its movement suggests the supermassive black cannot be larger than the orbit of Uranus in our solar system. However, observations are difficult because the orbiting stars all occupy a small region of the sky, and the black hole also attracts dust and gas which glows brightly due to frictional heating generated by the powerful gravitational fields. Nevertheless, astronomers have teased apart the motion of several stars in the region although none orbit as rapidly as S4716. Florian Pecker at the Institute of Physics at the University of Cologne in Germany and colleagues first suspected the existence of S4716 in infrared images taken by the Keck Observatory in Hawaii. To confirm their suspicions, they re-examined images of the same region taken by various telescopes going back to 2003, looking for evidence of S4716 that may have been overlooked. How do black holes form? Black holes are expected to form via two distinct channels. According to the first pathway, they are stellar corpses, so they form when massive stars die. Stars whose birth masses are above roughly 8 to 10 times mass of our sun, when they exhaust all their fuel, their hydrogen, 
They explode and die, leaving behind a very compact, dense object, a black hole. The resulting black hole that is left behind is referred to as a stellar mass black hole, and its mass is of the order of a few times the mass of the Sun. Not all stars leave behind black holes. Stars with lower birth masses leave behind a neutron star or a white dwarf. Another way that black holes form is from the direct collapse of gas, a process that is expected to result in more massive black holes, with a mass ranging from 1,000 times the mass of the Sun, up to even 100,000 times the mass of the Sun. This channel circumvents the formation of the traditional star and is believed to operate in the early universe and produce more massive black hole seeds. Who discovered black holes? Black holes were predicted as an exact mathematical solution to Einstein's equations. Einstein's equations describe the shape of space around matter. The theory of general relativity connects the geometry or shape of shape to the detailed distribution of matter. The black hole solution was found was by Carl Schwarzschild in 1915, and these regions black holes were found to distort space extremely and generate a puncture in the fabric of space-time. It was unclear at the time if these corresponded to real objects in the universe. Over time, as other end products of stellar death were detected, namely neutron stars seen as pulsars, it became clear that black holes were real and ought to exist. The first detected black hole was Cygnus X1. Do black holes die? Black holes do not die per se, but they are theoretically predicted to eventually slowly evaporate over extremely long time scales. Black holes grow by the accretion of matter nearby that is pulled in by their immense gravity. Hawking predicted that black holes could also radiate away energy and shrink very slowly. Quantum theory suggests that there exist virtual particles popping in and out of existence all the time. When this happens, a particle and its companion antiparticle appear. However, they can also recombine and disappear again. When this process occurs near the event horizon of a black hole, strange things can happen. Instead of the particle-antiparticle pair existing for a moment and then annihilating each other, one of them can get by gravity and fall into the black hole, while the other particle can fly off into space. Over very long timescales, we are speaking about timescales that are much, much longer than the age of our universe. The theory states that this trickle of escaping particles will cause the black hole to slowly evaporate. Are black holes wormholes? No black holes are not wormholes. Wormholes can be thought of as tunnels that connect two separate points in space and time. It is believed that the interior of black holes could contain a wormhole. The puncture is spacitime. That could offer a portal to another point in spacitime, potentially even in a different universe. Algorithmic solution. The task is challenging because each image is a still rather than a video showing the motion of the stars. So the team used various algorithms to guess the orbits of the stars and in further motion between images. That becomes even more difficult with the stars moving at significant fractions of the speed of light. Nevertheless, the team found abundant evidence for S4000, 716, including several cases when it had been mistaken for other stars. By investigating published and archival data, we identified this new source that we call S4000, 716 in 16 epochs, between 2003 and 2020, say Paker and Co. That's interesting work that highlights the hugely complex environment around the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. The extraordinary stars that survive this environment and the powerful techniques astronomers have developed to tease apart the phenomenon at work. The work is far from complete. Peeker and co. say the orbit of S4716 suggests that the space around Sagittarius A asterisk is filled with gas, dust, rocks, and other objects with a collective mass several orders of magnitude greater than the Sun. Indeed, in 2018 Sagittarius A asterisk suddenly flared up, becoming 75 times brighter than usual, almost certainly because it had swallowed an asteroid-sized object. Clearly, there are more secrets to discover in this, the most extreme corner of our Milky Way galaxy. So, this is our today's video. If you like our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel or hit the bell icon. We will meet again with another interesting topic till then. Stay safe and stay happy.